Dr. Ragusia, how does Newtown, Connecticut tie into all of this? Well, I think, unfortunately, one of the realities we'll discover is probably that the young man who did the shooting was pretty seriously mentally ill. Mm -hmm. There is already some evidence that he suffered from severe personality dysfunction for many years. So I I'm guessing that mental illness and prisons will be in the public viewpoint for some time now as this dialogue about Newtown goes on. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a crisis moment that we can use to advance a cause. Mm -hmm. And that is to make sure that people have treatment available to them when they need treatment. That we practice primary prevention. And that we don't see jails as repositories for our mentally ill. Mm -hmm. Okay? You know, one of the things that's going, been going on in Florida in the last couple of years is our governor has been trying to introduce the concept of having prisons be run by for-profit corporations. I don't want to incentivize prisons. Mm -hmm. I don't want anybody to have a good reason for increasing the population in our prisons. Mm -hmm. And once you make it a for-profit operation, that's exactly what's going to happen. It's what's happened in Louisiana already, where they have the largest prison population per capita of any state in the United States. Part of it's because they've got for-profit prisons. It's a dumb way to do things, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So as we look at what's happening in Newtown, we got to use this opportunity as a chance to correct some of the big mistakes we've made over the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. And one of those mistakes, I think, is taking away all these mental health facilities. We, we need to get those back. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, and, and at one point, they were nonprofit facilities operated by county or state governments. And now they are just barely scratching along. The, the one here in Monroe County is operated as the care center. And that is run by um, a corporation that has headquarters in Las Vegas um, and a branch office in the Bahamas. Really? Now, I have a hunch that we could be providing care in a more monetarily efficient way. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, and that used to be a very well-funded, well-staffed facility. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there and every place else in the United States, those community mental health centers are rapidly going down the tubes. You know, what's scary is that if we don't take action now, how many more tragedies like this are we going to continue to have? And the answer is many more. Mm -hmm. um, the American Psychological Association has for uh, decades been issuing statements about how this problem of violence in our country is exacerbated by television programs, video games, movies that focus and glorify violence, mm -hmm. okay? Focus on and glorify violence. And nobody pays any attention to those reports that we submit. We, we, we testify before Congress, we testify before state legislatures, and it goes in one ear and out the other, okay? Other countries don't experience this level of violence that we have in our country. Mm -hmm. Do you know that in the, um, you know, we're so in love with guns in this country. In the weekend after Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving weekend, Black Friday and all that stuff, mm -hmm. there were a quarter of a million guns sold in the United States. Really? After Just in that weekend, a quarter of a million guns. That's scary. The, the rifle that that young man used mm -hmm. to, to um, uh, I just heard this on the news this morning, to shoot all those kids up in Newtown. There have been 30,000 sold since the news story broke. And why does someone need that gun in their house? And, and you can talk to people in the NRA who want to defend that, but I have no logical justification for it. Mm -hmm. I think it is a horrendous value um, distortion that needs to be changed. In the name of the Second Amendment, what we're doing is living a bizarre life that's going to lead us all into building fortresses around each of our homes and schools. Mm -hmm. It's crazy in mm -hmm. my judgment. No, absolutely. It's scary to think that you have to have increased security with your children, your elementary school children. Right. It's crazy to think. Well, Dr. Ragusea, thank you for being on this morning, for sharing all of this information. If you want more info on Dr. Ragusea, check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. And thank you, everyone, for starting your day out with us. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.